Hello, this is Kieran from ServerPro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to manually install an FTB mod pack onto your server with ServerPro. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is download the files for the mod pack. So to do this, go on your browser and go to www.feed-thebeast with a dash in between .com forward slash modpacks. And then here you'll be brought to a page similar to this one. And then from here you just go ahead and select the mod pack that you want to install. In this case, I'm going to do FTB presents hermit pack. But please note this tutorial works for any FTB mod pack, not just hermit pack. It's the same process for all of them. So I'm going to click on the FTB presents hermit pack link and then you'll be brought to a page similar to this and in the bottom right hand side you'll see a download link for the latest version of the mod pack so i'm going to click that here and then click save so that'll begin downloading it so once the mod pack files have successfully downloaded onto your desktop you'll need to go to the control panel for your server so I have it open in tab over here, so I'm just going to go here. And then what you'll need to do is turn the server off. I've already turned this off to save time during this tutorial. Once it's off, you'll need to go to the file manager. And then you'll, you'll need to delete all these files apart from the server.properties file. So if you want to use the same world, it's not recommended when you're changing or, or installing a mod pack because it can cause the files to go corrupt and make the installation fail. So we recommend going with a fresh install so everything works perfectly. So what you'll need to do is delete all these files and then just select them by clicking in the white space next to the text. And you don't want to delete the server.properties file. So you just delete everything else. And feel free to back up the server if you want to go back to these server files in the future or create another server with them or just in case you ever need them again. So once you've selected them all, click delete, click OK. And then there we go. So we're ready to upload the mod packs files. So now what we need to do is click upload file, then choose files, and then navigate to where you downloaded the mod pack. And then we're just going to select it and click open. Then upload from computer. And then this will begin uploading the mod pack to the server. So once the files have finished uploading to your server, you'll see a .zip here. So in this case, it's called FTB presents hermit pack with the version number. So you just want to highlight that and then click unzip in the top right over here. And then this will unzip the folder from the mod pack. So then you'll need to click on the folder that it presents. And then what you'll need to do is copy all these files by selecting them and then click move and then move to the main directory, which is called home. So then go back and then you can delete the folder that they were in. So click delete, click OK. And then you can delete this .zip file that you downloaded earlier from the server. So there you go. So there's all the mod pack files on the server. Sometimes when you unzip that file, it will extract all these files and folders into the main directory. Sometimes it will put them in a folder. So you just have to be a bit wary about where they are. And if they are in a folder, just move them into this main directory. So once you've done that, you'll need to go back to the website where you downloaded the file from. So here, and you need to take a look at what version the mod pack is running on of Minecraft that is, not the version of the mod pack. So here it says, this is a 1.10.2 pack. So that means it's running on Minecraft version 1.10.2. So what you'll need to do is now install Forge on the server. So we need to install the 1.10.2 version of Forge. So if you go back to the control panel, go to the My Server tab, click Change under this Type option here, and then select Forge, and then select any of the versions that are 1.10.2, preferably the latest one, and as it will have the most bug fixes in and such. So click that, and then under Remove Files, click No, as that will remove all the mod pack files that we just uploaded, and then click Install. And then we'll wait for that to install and it should start up the server with Forge installed with the mod pack running successfully. So we'll just wait for this to start up and then we'll proceed further.
So once your server displays the done message and a green line stating that the query is running, you'll know that the server has started up successfully. So now what you'll need to do is set up the mod pack on your client so that you can join the server. So if we go to the curse launcher, curse is the client that you use to set up FTB mod packs. So then what you'll need to do is go to browse all mod packs and then you'll need to search for the mod pack that you just installed on your server. So in this case, I'm using the hermit pack so if I just scroll down a little bit, I can see it here. And then you'll be able to click the install button in the top left. And then that will download all the files onto this so that you can play it. So I'll be back with you once it's finished doing that. So once the mod pack has installed successfully, this install button up here will turn to a green play button. So we can click the green play button and this should launch the client and I'll be back with you once it does. So it's now launched the launcher so we can run the mod pack. And if you take a look in the bottom left, it should say the name of the mod pack. So in this case, it says FTB presents hermit pack. So we know that's the correct one. So now we click play. And then this will launch the game so that they can finally join the server and should be the last step. So once the game finally launches, you'll be greeted with a fancy panel like this. And then you'll be able to click the multiplayer tab in the right hand side to join your server then add server and I'm just going to name this to FTB presents um, hermit craft server and then we're going to enter the server address here so if I just go back to the control panel it's listed above the console here and I'll just copy that and then we're going to paste it into minecraft with control V and then there we go click done and it should show it as online so I should be able to join this now There we go, so I'm now logged into the server with Hermitcraft installed. So this is simply how you do it and if you have any problems or questions, feel free to contact our support and we'll love to help you. Um, and feel free to watch any of our other tutorial videos as they may be useful to you. So thank you for watching, have a great day and goodbye.